Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. We just descended down from Moki Dagway Highway and entering Valley of the Gods. In my opinion, one of the most spectacular places in Utah that shouldn't be missed. Whether you're interested in dramatic photo shoot, witnessing a geological wonder, or just taking a scenic drive, Valley of the Gods is worth a visit when you're in Utah Canyon country. The Valley of the Gods is a scenic sandstone valley near Mexican Hut in San Juan County, southeastern Utah, formerly part of Bears Ears National Monument. The Valley of the Gods is located north of Monument Valley across the San Juan River and has rock formations similar to those in Monument Valley with tall reddish-brown mesas, towers and mushroom rocks remains of an ancient landscape. The Valley of the Gods may be toured via 17-mile or 27-kilometer gravel road, San Juan Country Road 242, that winds around the formations. The road is rather steep and bumpy in parts, but is passable by non-four-wheel drive vehicles in dry weather. The western end joins Utah State Route 261 shortly before its 1200 foot ascent up Cedar Mesa at Moki Dagway, while the eastern end starts 9 miles 14 kilometers from the town of Mexican Hat along the US Route 163 and heads north, initially crossing a flat open land and following the course of Lime Creek a seasonal wash before turning west towards the buttes and pinnacles. In addition to the gravel road, the area is also crossroads by off-road dirt trails. No, from Bayern shift to soft spot. Boli boli dupa. Boli boli dupa. Teraz to jest nasza piosenka przewodnia. W takich sytuacjach. Jeszcze raz. Ja trzy głosy. Boli boli dupa. Boli boli dupa. There we are, the Valley of the Gods, and there's the spot that I caught a soft shoulder, shoulder really soft, while working the camera, and I freaking wipe out. Shit happens, I guess. But that's what it is when you try to work the camera, and at the same time. Admire all that scenery. The guys are saying that I was kneeling <laughs> to the God. gods. <laughs> oh, you kneeled, you bowed to the gods. Or bowed. <laughs> this 
episode right there. Yeah. And yeah, there's one goddess. This guy here was very grateful that I bowed. <laughs> It is quite dry everywhere. Yak Susha. We can still camp, but that's gonna suck if there's no cool, no way to cool off. So we're coming out of the gods of the valley, and or valley of the gods, wherever. Valley of the gods, that's correct. Towards Mexican hut. And there is the Mexican hut right on top. Bumpy, Slyenko.
Very spectacular view though. Holy crap, I can't believe it how that rock is standing there. Oh yeah! Another day full of fun and uh, beautiful sceneries all around us. Now we are heading uh, back uh, to the campsite that we saw earlier to set up for the night. So it's actually seven o'clock at this point, so it's time to wrap it up. We had uh, just another meal at a great place here. Very good burgers and steaks. So this campsite actually, it's uh, owned by native people here and uh, it costs uh, $15 but you have to uh, pay it online. They have a website uh, right at their entrance to log in and pay the fee. Uh, just if you ever in this area, a Mexican hat, uh, down in a valley or in a canyon, uh, there's few campsites and it's not busy at this moment. At least uh, I don't think anybody wants to stay in this heat. We're crazy ones. And the sun is getting down slowly. It's beautiful, but uh, make sure you have lots of water. Anyway, any day, I'm going to my uh, camel pack. I got three and a half liters, everything is gone. Backyard. I have a little room with his uh, rest restroom. Okay. Restroom. Yeah. Restroom. Shower. Mm -hmm. 